we actually have a biodigital of different stages of ovarian cancer. Now, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Correct. So this is the ovary down that little white Q-tip-like looking thing. Mm -hmm. um, the little yellow portion of it is actually a tumor. This would be a stage one tumor. It's confined to the ovary. Um, whether one or two, it would still remain as stage one. Okay, a stage two cancer would be a little bit more advanced and you can see that okay, it's actually wow. now on both ovaries mm -hmm. and extending into the fallopian tube. That's that little one up on right. the right hand corner. Um, and part of it can actually go into the uterus, which is that sac-like looking. And we're um, seeing portion. in this picture, one, two, four tumors. Four, uh -huh. So the amount of tumors doesn't really differentiate the stage. Okay. It's more of where the location is. Okay, so and these it's also are based on the number, though, right? The lower the number, the likely, like in terms the of like stage one, stage two, it's correct. Are better than stage threes and fours. Okay. Unfortunately, the big majority of our cancers are diagnosed more looking like this. This <gasps> is a stage three. Wow. At this point, it's spread throughout the the abdominal cavity. Um, that kind of sheath looking like thing mm -hmm. is the omentum. So there'll be omental caking, which means that there's tumor growing out throughout that sac that protects the abdomen. Um, this is where the big majority of our tumors are diagnosed. And this is stage four. By this point, you've got distant disease. Some of it can be in the liver, up in the lungs. You can see up top, um, there's lung metastases. The lungs, yeah. So this means that it's extended to distant organs and out of the abdominal cavity. Once it's spread into the abdomen, that's typically where we start seeing the symptoms, correct? Correct. correct. Stage three is where we'll start seeing symptoms. By that point, you're starting to have those digestive issues, that mental caking a lot of the time will slow mm -hmm. down the digestive process. Um, you'll start having abdominal pain, decreased appetite. Some patients have weight loss. If there's fluid buildup in the abdomen, they may have some distension. Um, so that's when they start really becoming really symptomatic. Wow. And, yeah. Now, it's, it's, there's another symptom here. It says you, you feel full quickly Correct. when eating. Yeah. Is that because it's already spread so much into well, your abdomen? Well, and it's spreading into the stomach sometimes. Sometimes it's putting pressure because if you can't, can't empty the digestive system as well, right. you get full quicker because, mm -hmm. you know, I say it's the plumbing system. If the plumbing system's backed up, you're obviously not going to be able to fill it back up.